Yo, what is up everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Joshua Wingens and in this video I want to go over how to create this really cool sliding freeze frame effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So as you can see right here, this is what the effect looks like. As you can see right here, Ryan Tannehill comes sliding in and then it matches up with the second clip right there. Now let's go ahead and break down how to create this effect right here. So the first thing you want to do is you want to import your two clips. Now you could have it as just one clip and then just randomly in the clip um, this happens, but I would highly encourage you to use this as kind of a transition in between two clips um, right there. Now what you want to do is you want to head over to clip number two and you want to create a freeze frame. So this is just going to be like an example. So you want to go to, to clip two, go to the read time option and then click on hold right here. And then what you're doing right here is this freeze frame right here. You're basically just splitting this freeze frame um, right here. So as you can see right here, this is actually a freeze frame um, right there. So that's basically how you get this clip. You go to the beginning of the second clip right here, you create a freeze frame and then you pull this and then you take this freeze frame and you put it on top of this clip um, right there. And that's how you create this top clip right here. This top clip is just the first frame from the second clip, but, that's, but, that, but that first frame is a frozen. Now I just held this for about 0.23 seconds. I would probably encourage you to hold it between like one second and like 0.23 seconds. If it's too, if you, if you, if you go for like 10, if you go like 10 frames, it might be a little bit too fast. And if you go hold it for like two or three seconds, it might just go a little bit too slow. But I just held it for 0 0.23 um, seconds. That's what I did and I think it looks the best. But of course, it's all up to you. So once you have the frozen frame, like I said before, you want to head it, you want to apply it on this top clip right here. Now once you have that, um, once you have that top clip right there, you have to apply a draw mask. So let's go ahead and click on the top clip right here. And then we'll go right here. And as you can see right here, here is a draw mask. So I cut around this part of Ryan Tannehill's body. And then right here, I just cut this section out right here. Obviously, if you have more places you need to cut out, then apply more draw mask. But I just needed to apply um, two draw masks right there. So you just need to cut out the person. So this freeze frame, which is the a frozen first frame of the second clip, has to be cut out that way in order that way it can slide in and create this really cool effect. Now to find the draw mask or the effects panel, you want to head over to mask. And as you can see right here, here is the draw mask right here. So again, you just want to cut out the subject. That's basically the main portion is you have to use a draw mask. You can't really do this effect um, without a draw mask. Now the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to keyframe the draw mask right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you how I did it. So as you can see right here, click on this clip right here. You want to head over to the transform tool right here. And as you can see, the position is at negative um, 1600. 43 and all you want to do is you want to just drag it either to the left or to the right or you can drag it up or down but you want to make sure you start the position off so it's over here you want to make sure that you're starting this you're starting this draw mask off frame now what you want to do right there so start at negative 1600 and then what you what you want to do right here is go to the end right here and I think I went one frame back right there. There you go. So I just went one frame to the left. And as you can see right there, I just created a keyframe at zero. So let's go ahead and just go frame by frame. And I'll show you the position right here. So let's go over to the transform tool. Watch the position right here. And as you can see right here, the position is being keyframed. And as you can see right here, Ryan Tannehill is getting into position right there. And there we go, it's at zero. Now you want to make sure that the ending position is at zero because it needs to be in the same position 
when you switch to this clip right here. If you change the position to like two or three, it's going to be off a little bit. So he needs to basically end exactly where the first clip, where the second clip starts. That way it creates a really clean transition. Now what you want to do next is you want to add some motion blur or a directional blur just to help make it a little bit better, look a little bit better. You want to head over here to blur and then I just applied a directional blur. Now I do have a motion blur plugin but I just decided to use a directional blur right here. So you can see right here, here you wanna make sure the directional blur is on this clip right here, not on this clip, on the draw mask. And then I just applied it all the way to 32. And as you can see right here, you can see that there's a little bit of blur on him. As you can see right there, now you wanna make sure the directional blur is going the direction that he's going. If it's coming from this side, you wanna change the directional blur to go into that side. So you wanna make sure the directional blur is following him. Let's turn off the directional blur right here here as you can see like motion blur it just helps create a much cleaner transition anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you're new to this channel i upload final cut pro 10 tutorials every single day at 10 a.m eastern standard time so if you enjoy these types of videos consider hitting that subscribe button i also have final cut pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 100 final cut pro 10 tutorials see you in the next one peace